We all know wine can be good for your health in moderation, but which wines are best? Here with more insight is Dr. Jim Painter for the University of Texas Health Sciences Center at Houston, formerly of Eastern Illinois University, which was how we first met. Correct. He is so good at breaking down what I would consider complicated science into things that we understand. So uh, before we go into the segment, we have a picture that I want to show. I don't even, that's not even, what do you even call that? It's not I don't know. It's not even real. It's an, <laughs> that's a lot of wine. Is, is that such a thing? Is there is there there is too much wine, right? There's easily too much wine, and if people want to get intoxicated, wine's a very bad thing to do it with because all those healthy chemicals give you the hangover the next day. Okay. So we're talking about a little bit of wine. So all right, and again, as we're saying, in moderation because in it does have some health benefits. So tell me a little bit of we're, we're putting this wine in our mouth. There's there's this art, there's this science to kind of swishing it around, things that you're kind of tasting, right? You know, there really is. And so there's a sweetness, there's a sourness, there's an astringency. All those things really come together to make wine balance with certain foods rather than other foods. And there's a real art to balancing the wine and the food. Previously, when we had you on talking about chocolate for Valentine's Day, you had noted that the amount of cocoa when when chocolate gets sweeter you're stripping out some of the bitter elements and right. those bitter elements is, are where the health benefits are, right, right right so is that the case with wine too I mean if it's not as bitter or that's right it's not so much the sweetness the astringency that makes the health benefit but it's the color so it's actually the deep purple color that those compounds are the things that are antioxidants okay so again you've got the red wines and you've got the white right. wines, and so red wines are going to have greater health benefits. They, they do. And so some people ask me, should I drink white wine? I said, yes, but you need to drink two bottles. And so that has some downside to it. So generally what you want to do is get the deepest red wine and all you need is like four ounces to get the benefit. That's interesting. It's like aspirin. You know, you get a baby aspirin, just a little tiny 80 yeah. milligrams. That's all you need. If you take three, five, ten times that, you don't get any more benefit. You get it from the little tiny bit of aspirin. You get it from the four ounces of wine. So talk to me a little bit about the generally the health benefits of wine and you can get this from wine or grape juice right that's right you can get the same thing from grape juice and for some people grape juice is preferred over wine if you're diabetic though the sugar in there is not as good it's better to get it in the wine than the grape juice oh interesting but purple grape juice has the same effect interesting okay so this is good for the, it is good for our heart because it t does a couple of things. One of the things, it's, it's a vasodilator. It makes your vessels expand, and so you have less chance of them clotting. That's one thing. It's an antioxidant, so it keeps them generally in better shape. And what is an antioxidant? Well, an antioxidant, and I've talked about this in many different ways, but whenever you see a fruit or vegetable, you cut it and it browns. Oxygen attaches to things and they break down. Mm -hmm. Our body does that all the time. As we exercise, as we breathe, the oxygen, we need it, but it also tends to make these free radicals that harm our body. These antioxidants are preferentially oxidized over those things, and they keep our body safe. So wine is preventing you from turning into a brown <laughs> apple. I think that's the lesson that's, we have here. That's kind of it, yes. That's part of it. All right. All right, all right, so let's yeah. compare wine. We have a graphic here that I want to show you. Comparing wine and grape juice versus maybe some other juices. Right. So wine is, is way up there. It really is. And we know that all of these different juices have antioxidants in them. And you compare orange, tomato, grapefruit, apple. They're all good. But when you look at grape juice, it has four times the antioxidants of these other juices. Wow. And so we can look at uh, countries that drink a lot of wine and those that don't. And so we have a graphic that looks at two countries. And off to the far right, you can see two dots. They drink about eight ounces of wine a day. Their risk of heart disease is very low. When you go to the right side of the chart, there's a lot of countries that have very little wine, less than an ounce or two a day. Their risk of heart disease is very high. That's data. That's mm -hmm. scientific data that shows one or two glasses of wine a day right. is going to be better for you. That's exactly right. I mean, wine really is a health food as long as it's not overconsumed. Right, right. right. Like the guy we saw at the beginning of the lady. <laughs> the guy at the beginning. Yeah, That's geez, right. that is a big glass. So don't be doing that for National Drink Wine Day, but a glass or two might actually be beneficial for right. your body. Dr. Painter, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. It's Dr. Jim Painter with the University of Texas Health Sciences Center at Houston. That's his website. You need to check it out, drjimpainter.com, and we'll connect you to his website at ciliving.tv.